Well, good evening and thank you for tuning in to News 3 Sports. Today was the final day of GHSA softball playoffs and two local teams were fighting their way through the 4A bracket. Northside and Harris County. The Tigers start with a bye. Northside taking on East County to advance to the championship game. And that's where we begin. Northside versus Eastside. Winner again advances to the title game against Harris County. It'll be the Patriots first on the board courtesy of Lacey Martinez lacing one to shallow left. L'Oreal Bird takes the turn at third. Heads home as Northside leads it 1-0. In the second inning now, Eastside's Eva Davis going to ground this one to no no man's land up the middle. Donnie Moraine heads home. Tag is late. And just like that, we got a tie game. Eastside continues. Ali Vaughn fires this one down the line. It'll be too hot to handle. Kayla Lay will head home. Eastside has the lead two to one. And when it rains, it pours. Still in the second inning. Eastside Savannah Griffin sends a deep shot to the gap. It lands and two runners will score. That puts Eastside up six to one. And Northside's dream of a three-peat comes to an end as Eastside takes the win 9-1 to one over the Patriots. Now to the finals. It's Eastside taking on the Harris County Tigers. State championship is up for grabs. After a scoreless first, here's Laney Dansby who gets the Tigers started off hot with a blast to center field. And the center fielder doesn't have enough space. Leadoff homer puts the Tigers up 1-0. Later in the first, it's Ivy McCormick. She has a runner on third. She'll send this one out to center field, and that'll be plenty deep enough for Carolina Gatewood to score. County's going to lead it 2-0 in the first. Fast forward to the second inning. Laney Dansby again, and she does it again. Way back to center field. Her second homer on the day. Nobody can believe it. That two-run shot puts the Tigers up by four. Then it's another senior. Miller Daniel just smokes this one to left field. It's gone for yet another two runs. The Tigers able to hold on winning the state title in an 8-0 shutout. WRBL caught up with the team moments after this dominant win. It means everything in the world. You know, I always start off this by saying all glory to God. You know, without him, we couldn't do nothing. Um, but just coming up here and, you know, having the opportunity, you know, to coach, you know, a softball team that's been great for a lot of years. Um, but, yeah, you know, just setting the standard, you know, from year one. Excited about it. You know, the county's always been like this, you know. And, you know, that's kind of our motto and our, our love, you know, slogan is um, nobody does it like the county. You know, so it's the county way. And um, we travel well in, in, everywhere we go. It's great, especially after the last two years getting stumped and just getting past that as a team and just making it here, especially your last year, it's, it's a great feeling. Especially knowing that these could be your last set bats, it's great just to get the game going, get a good mojo going, and just start it off right. Well, our bats have been really good all year, so coming into this tournament, we were not worried about it at all. And we've been in the cage every single day just working on it. And as soon as Laney hit that home run, we were all like jumping up and down, and we just knew it was going to be a really good day. Congratulations to the Harris County Tigers on a much-deserved state title.